I am A1C Kyle Weber, and my job is based defense control operator. So with BDOC, we are the main law enforcement for the desk for the base. We dispatch. We take 911 calls. We deal with the day to day. Anyone has a problem on base, they get a hold of us. We also do traffic stops. We um, run people's backgrounds up here. We do all of the day-to-day -day law enforcement desk stuff. Um, for BDOC, it's just mostly policing ourselves. Um, we have police on base to make sure everyone that's in the military, any civilian contractors, all the people that are on base are doing the proper thing. So therefore, the base is safe, and we can get the mission done in a safe manner. So for BDOC, going up for BDOC, when you uh, Originally, go for it, you have to get trained on patrolmen and also the gates so you know how to do their job as well since you're commanding control for them. You also have to get NCIC training that is conducted for all the background checks we do for all personnel coming on base that aren't military. We also get training for our alarm systems so we know how to properly acknowledge them, know where they're at, know who set them off possibly. And right now, BDOC is a one-man post, so we do all of that within our shifts. So recently in the Air Force, in our career field, there's been a lot of insulation breaches through the gates, specifically. Uh, for numerous reasons, people not knowing they cannot come on the insulation without a credential that allows them entry. Um, to combat this, we have began doing insulation breach exercises at least once per shift, so that our airmen are knowledgeable on what to do for them. So if it does happen in the real world, they can enact the steps that they're taught so that the person can either be stopped or we can get to them in a timely manner to figure out why they're on the base, where they're trying to head to, making sure they're not heading towards the WSA or going towards any uh, priority buildings. Um, also another thing we do is we monitor the insulation gates and perimeters via cameras that we have up here so we can see if anyone's coming on through those. We can also see if our gate guards are doing okay up there, if they need any help with traffic. Uh, if so, we would send another patrol up there. Uh, we also keep track of all the checks that are done throughout the day up here. For the patrols, they call it to us and let us know they did housing checks, and then we are gonna annotate it up here on a piece of paper and also in our blotter. Um, without BDOC, there wouldn't be any personnel in place to protect and make sure the support groups and also the individuals who do direct work with the mission itself. There would be no one in place to protect them, such as the gate guards, patrols to do law enforcement, day-to-day -day activities, or myself.